an old smooth swinger in his own right, Tony Charlton. And you're so right too, Billy. Is this, what handicap are you on, Tony? <laughs> I don't have one now. It's a disgrace. <laughs> haven't got a card in for about well, 10 years. Well, you better have to concentrate on it. Let's talk first of all the Metropolitan before we ask you a few more pertinent questions that Bill raised in his intro there. <laughs> Metro's been suspect with condition. How is it? Yes, I think we've been spoiled over the years because it's such a magnificent venue. Well, we've had a few problems, but I think they've been quickly overcome by a lot of um, uh, input and um, industry. Uh, they tried to get rid of the power annua on the fairways so that the cooch would take greater hold and give a greater foundation for the fairways in the future, and I think long term that was a good plan. But it rather devastated what was there, and there's been an effort to get them back to something like metro form, and I'm glad to say they have come on magnificently in the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and I think metro will be at about 97%. Oh, that's okay. I heard yesterday, actually, the greens themselves, they're perfect. Oh, the greens are perfect, and the tees, too. The tees probably better than they've ever been, and the greens as good as they've ever been. The fairways, 3% down. Well, I hope they come back. Tony... Uh, Innovative is the right word for you, uh, with ballyhoo, if I may use it, pageantry, presentation. What have you got for us this year? Well, I think the tournament will run to uh, high standard again. That's our obligation, that's our responsibility, and we have a marvellous team there in order to, uh, to dress it accordingly. Uh, we have a record entry for an Australian tournament once again. The 386 entries of last year has again been superseded. 405 have entered for it this time, as Bill indicated. 280 pros and 180 amateurs, something like that, and uh, only 144 of them can play. So it's going to be a very busy qualifying day on Monday the 8th, when, uh, correction, Monday the uh, 6th, when I think uh, three courses, uh, Rossdale, Keysborough and Long Island, will be used to, to come up with the Sort final mix. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before we talk about the sponsor problem, because that's very important to you, Craig Stadler is your player this year. You've adopted a, a policy of one big name for your tournament, and the board say it, Stadler for the Victorian Open. You're happy with that uh, policy now, at this day? Oh, entirely happy, but also, of course, it's a condition that's forced upon you by the economics. I mean, we don't have an endless budget, but it's proven to be an attractive thing, and I think the other element is that, fortunately, all of those that we've brought out over the years, according to this uh, philosophy, have played well. Uh, we haven't had a failure amongst them. Um, uh, they've either finished uh, in a tie for first and been beaten in a playoff, mm -hmm. uh, as was the case with Arnold Palmer and Gary Player, or uh, they finished in the top three or four. What other players will we see at the Victorian Open? Well, of course, Greg Norman makes his uh, first <laughs> summertime appearance in Australia. We're looking forward to that. And uh, he's in pretty good form. He's been practicing hard. Incidentally, you'll be interested, as a, a technical man, he's changed the length of all of his clubs and uh, the swing weight of all of them says the only thing that's the same is the grip size and uh, his putter. I Everything assume you mean another half inch longer? <laughs> well, I don't know. They might be shorter. No. It'll be very interesting to find out. It will. Uh, and Bob Shearer, defending champion. Multi-sponsorship has been something that I would say you've been innovative with. Are you happy with it? Do you think there's a future in that? Or we get, because of your sponsor trouble this year, do you see that there's another style of golf tournaments coming up? Uh, no, but I think there is room for both, and I think the, uh, the high rollers will still be present, and there will be solar sponsorships of golf tournaments in the future, but because That's of the escalating cost, Let I think you have you. to break the burden. You think that there could be a hmm. big one-off sponsor again? Yes, I do. I would have thought money would just prevent that. No, I don't uh, necessarily rule it out as something that will occur in the future. All right. I want to cast your mind back to something. You, I regard as an authority, and don't grin at me because I do. You are an authority. We accept you as such. Uh, the H Kingston Heath was the home for the Australian Open. Except for Bob Charles blowing his top about the putting greens at one stage, the remarks were very kind. Do you think it did rate as a, t a club course suitable for a national open? Oh, no question. <laughs> well, how does it rate with suitable London for a world overseas? open? Magnificent course. And I think that was the problem, that the criticism came chiefly from sources that hadn't had exposure regularly to courses of that standard. Now, Bob Charles, whom you mentioned, would be an exception to my comment. But by and large, the criticism was from those who, as I say, hadn't had exposure to demanding courses of that kind for a long time. Mm -hmm. There's no question that Kingston Heath was not only magnificent as a test of golf, but uh, magnificent full stop. I asked you before about Stadler. It took you... What, back 12 months when you made the arrangement to take Stadler, so it's a gamble. Talking of your sponsor problem now, when do the sponsors either drop out or not confirm? 
Well, that's been a gradual um, problem that we've been facing throughout the year. I mean, no time is lost, as every promoter knows, mm. in trying to gather the resources to mount the thing to the standard that you want. And it's, uh, it's um, a great disappointment to us that we haven't been able to achieve the backing this time that mm -hmm. we've been normally able to achieve. Now, there are several factors. Um, one of them uh, relates... Um, relates to uh, the economic situation, mm. there's no question mm. about that, as almost every business in Australia understands, and the time hasn't arrived yet, despite the better economic indicators, whereby companies can feel at ease that the profits are going to return, whereby they can make appropriations yeah. for uh, promotional activities. Your own future now, I did not actually see the press release regarding, but I believe you uh, have resigned or have been dismissed. Which is it from the AGU as far as director of their golf? Oh, I don't think it made as much in terms as being a separation of the uh, understanding there, and uh, the less said about it as far as I'm concerned, the better. Uh, Australian golf will continue, uh, unabated I trust. Uh, just okay, what's I your future? We, uh, what are you going to do? We're entitled to expect something a bit better. What uh, do? I have no idea. don't know. But, uh, I've got some lawns need cutting. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a candidate. I'm a candidate. <laughs> Lou's got a bag here, yeah. so I'll go back. Well, I've got a bag here. I've got a few bags around, too. Apparently, before Louis Sorry, comes darling. Who are you talking to? I don't know. Before Louis comes in, I think I'm in. I, I would like to say one thing to you. I've appreciated, on behalf of myself and the Channel 7 boys, the courtesies you've given us. Now, for example, at, the, at Kingston Heath, we ended up with our OB van sitting out the front door of Kingston Heath, and another director could have said, jump out of the road, fellas. You didn't, and you gave us a chance to get all our interviews done quietly and the best conditions. I thank you, and I trust the courtesies will continue. <laughs> Just keep that in. But now we at Seven have appreciated what you've done for us. And also, right. Uncle Doug said you'd never look back since he took you out of 3AW at Clements. <laughs> Remember that now? <laughs> he said he was this little library, a record library.